Hi, so my name's John Mockler and I'm Head of Marketing at ERA. I'd say the most rewarding thing about working for ERA, particularly in marketing, is the variety. Uh, not only that, I get to work almost client side and agency side. I, I always say I wear two hats and look after the corporate marketing, but also help individual franchisees with their marketing as well. So best of both worlds. Uh, there's a number of things, uh, very exciting things happening at ERA, particularly in marketing, uh, the future of our brand, technologies like AI and how they're going to influence marketing and how it will impact our franchisees and how they use technology to improve their businesses. Marketing's always changing and evolving. We have to keep up with technology ourselves and make sure that we've got the right channels and tools uh, available for uh, our partners to use. Yeah, I think the global marketing team work very collaboratively together. We obviously have uh, responsibility for ERA to promote the brand, to build trust and advocacy, uh, to generate those warmer conversations for our partners, you know, whether it's uh, through awards we enter or PR, you know, we're, we're trying to foster that uh, connection with our audience. I think training from a marketing perspective is very important. I think everybody comes into the business as some sort of marketing expert. We all think we know uh, how marketing works and the best things that will work for our businesses. Uh, but it's very important for franchisees to understand uh, what tools are available to them, uh, how to access the library, our SharePoint, how marketing works, how we communicate our new campaigns and materials. Um, so I think what we tend to do is sit with each franchisee uh, after foundational training and really have a hands-on experience with, with that person individually working on their strengths and their weaknesses and trying to plug in the tactics and routes to market that will really suit each individual rather than making it a one-size-fits-all training program because from my experience that doesn't work you know telling people exactly what they need to do people work in different ways um, we have to try and cater for that so i think it's important to say we we have what we call a marketing playbook franchisees can access and see all the different materials campaigns uh, different events anything that we offer uh, as a central marketing function and that might be access to thousands of case studies or to uh, what we call vertical marketing where we have very specific materials and campaigns for manufacturing or retail or hospitality really showcasing that we have the expertise across those sectors and can really um, understand the needs of particular sectors or we can go down a horizontal route uh, through category marketing so that might be something like logistics and freight that will go across a number of sectors so it's really about finding the right materials and campaign for the right audience uh, at the particular time that your prospect or the, the client you're trying to engage with is at in their journey with ERA. I think value-based selling is really important because we're really trying to position ourselves as trusted partners. It's positioning our partners as valued members of their team, almost an extension of their team. So if we can provide case studies or information about artificial intelligence and how that's uh, impacting businesses, how we're working with other companies around sustainable procurement or business transformation, giving that free advice or help almost helps position us as that trusted advisor and makes them more comfortable to engage with us uh, and move forward with some of the projects that we know we can benefit businesses through. So we have different uh, tactics almost where we work on global campaigns and we work on local campaigns. So any global content or campaigns we run, we try to make sure that they are of topics and of interest to a, a wide group of people. Um, but localization is very important. So a topic that is very pertinent in Sweden might be completely irrelevant to anyone in Australia. So we make sure we work with our local marketing teams and with partners in country to make sure what we're creating for them is of real value to their audience. I think technology is the most interesting part of marketing and where it's heading, you know. I think this year particularly has been dominated by ChatGPT and some of the AI tools that have been made available. I think for us as a marketing department, it's ensuring that we stay on top of this technology and how it can help and impact our partners' businesses. So it's going to be a learning curve for us, it certainly is for franchisees, but how we can leverage technology to automate tasks, to help us with our content, uh, to help with campaigns that we run uh, and you know the data that sits behind that and understanding our audience I think is a real opportunity so I think it's going to be an interesting couple of years certainly for the generative AI space in terms of marketing.